Hey guys, it's Katie, and today we are doing a full out, full body stretch sesh. You're probably on the floor by the time you finish your workout anyway, so we're gonna take a few minutes to stretch out your entire body so that you can increase your flexibility, your mobility, and have the energy to get those workouts in the next day. These are gonna be great full body stretches, but I'm gonna break them up for you by body part. That way, if you're super sore in one specific area, you'll know exactly what stretches to do. I don't know if you guys have seen this super cute Love Sweat Fitness sweat tank. It's like a flowy crop, but I like it because it's a little bit longer, so you can wear it really with anything. And it comes in black too, which is super cute, so you guys can get them on lovesweatfitness.com. But for now, let's get our stretch on. We're gonna start with our abs because if you have been doing the LSF Hot Body Sweat Guide, I know your abs are like on fire, and it's kind of hard to stretch out your abs. So I'm gonna show you three of my absolute favorite stretches to really just loosen them up and help relax. So we're gonna start the first one. I want you to come just to a cat cow, and this is really gonna help stretch through the front of your abs, your rectus abdominis, which goes right down the middle, and then exhale, curl the back, so you're relaxing through the back. A lot of times when we're doing ab exercises, we rely on those back muscles. So just give it a quick little stretch here, arching the back, bring your gaze up. Exhale, curl the spine down. So inhaling as you arch. Exhale, curl as you bring your nose toward your belly button, drawing the belly button in. Let's do two more here. And exhale. Now from here, I want you to come all the way onto your belly on the mat for a little upward facing dog. So let everything from the waist down stay lazy and heavy on the mat. Hands come right underneath the shoulders. You're gonna exhale as you lift up. Oh my goodness, feels so good. You guys are gonna love this one. So just keep pushing the mat away little baby bend in your elbows, pull your shoulders away from your ears, back and down. Take an inhale and exhale, stretch a little bit deeper. And then you're gonna drop your weight into your left hip. So this is gonna hit those obliques, it feels so good. So just drop the weight into that hip, feel the big stretch on your side. And then when you're ready, switching sides. And you can spend as much time as you want in each of these stretches, depending on how sore you are. Coming back to center. Exhale, come up. From here, coming standing on your knees, you're gonna lift your left arm up as you reach back toward your heel with your right hand, and then just find an arch and reach and stretch. And again, listen to your body. Just kind of find what you need. You can go a little bit deeper. You can twist over to the side, and then switch it out. And this is gonna feel really good allowing you to hit all of those different spots across your abdominal muscles. Next, we're gonna hit the arms and the shoulders and a little bit of back. So some of the most basic, simple stretches you can do, especially if you had arm day, is gonna be some tricep stretches. So we're gonna just bring your right arm up overhead, bending at the elbow. Draw that elbow in using your opposite hand and just squeeze. So lift the elbow up toward the sky and then pull the hand down the back and you're gonna feel it all along the front here. It feels so good. Well, it's technically the back of your arm, but to you right now, it's the front. <laughs> and then take as much time as you need there, maybe leaning to the side, get a little bit into that shoulder, and switch it out. So again, take your time here. I like to do a cross body stretch, so the right arm's just gonna come across the body. You can use your left hand to pull it across too. It feels really good. And then make sure you hit both sides. So no matter what you do, stretch evenly on both sides. Because our bodies tend to be a little uneven. So you wanna take a little time on whatever side seems tighter, so you can get them to a point where they're about the same. Stretching here, okay. I have such a good shoulder slash chest stretch for you. I want you to take your left arm or whichever arm you wanna start with, thread it through underneath the armpit of the other and drop that shoulder down, keeping your hips lifted. Just drop it down. You're gonna feel this through your back, your shoulder. So awesome. And then again, make sure you hit both sides. To open up the chest, you're gonna come all the way onto the mat. I want you to find a T with your arms. So reach out, right arms reach out and you're gonna push your body over to the side with the opposite hand. You can also bring that opposite hand over behind your back. Relaxing here, feel that, feel that stretch through the front of the shoulder and into the chest. And just breathing here, nice, slow, long inhales and exhales. 
And whenever you're ready, you're gonna switch sides. Same thing. And just hang out for a bit. Breathe and stretch. And coming all the way up. Last one to hit those shoulders. We're gonna do kind of a puppy dog with our arms. So bring your hands out in front. If you have a ball or a foam roller, you can place your hands on that. It can be really helpful too. But just reach them out in front, drop your chest down. So this is similar to when we were threading the needle with the arm, but we're just getting the top of the shoulders, the back, and into those shoulder blades. Really nice here. Breathe and hold as long as you need. And then come back up. Last little one, interlacing those hands, just leaning forward, folding forward. You can do this stand, you can do this standing or sitting. And inhale, come back up. Shake it out. So next we're gonna hit the hips, the legs, all of our lower body with a few of my absolute favorite stretches. So one of the most simple basic ones you can do is just a seated forward fold. So bring your legs out in front, move any extra love out of the way. You're gonna reach your arms up overhead, reach out, up and out, 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 and then slowly down. And you're gonna feel this through the whole back of the leg. It feels so good. And as you feel that stretch opening up, you're gonna inhale, lift your chest, so find a straighter, flatter back. Pull your chest down and closer and keep feeling that stretch to the back of the knees. Breathing here and just working your way down, continuing to lift and stretch and exhale, pull yourself a little bit deeper. And then as you're ready, the final posture here would just be to let everything go, forehead to knees. The great thing about stretching, even if you don't do it right after your workout, if you think about it later while you're watching TV, you can still get them in then. All right, let's get those hips, the quads, everything that needs some good stretch. So just come into a low lunge. From your low lunge, you're gonna drop this back knee down and untuck your toes so the top of your foot is on the floor and your weight is in that front heel. You're gonna lift your chest up, squaring your hips off in front of you and continue to push them forward. This might be enough for you. Sometimes for me, I'm like, okay, this is as far as I wanna go. Continue to breathe here, but if you want more, you can reach your arms up overhead and keep pushing those hips forward or even cactus the arms and find a little back bend, a little chest opening, so you're gonna get more of a stretch in the upper body here as well, but you're really gonna feel it in those hips. So just breathe and stretch. Stay here as long as you want. And when you're ready to come out of it, you're gonna push yourself back, flex your front foot, sit your hips down, and fold forward, forehead to knee, just stretching out here. Again, breathing, you're gonna get the back of that leg again. Take an inhale and exhale breath. And then inhale, coming forward, we're gonna keep stretching out. So walk your foot out to the side of your mat. You can lift your hips here, finding more of a runner's lunge so that knee is gonna open up to the side. And if you want more, and this is my favorite stretch of all time ever, you're gonna walk that foot to the right side of the mat and drop it down, so finding a half pigeon. So your knee and your shin are gonna square off. Your shin's gonna come as parallel to the front as you can or wherever you're sitting. Keep a flex in that front foot Square your hips off, and then you can either stay here, and you are gonna feel it in the outside of the hip on that leg that's bent, or you can exhale and fold forward all the way down, breathing, breathing, breathing. So this is an area that we hold a lot of tension and stress, especially as women, in our hips. We get super tight, so make sure that you take time here to really breathe it out, stretch it out. Um, this can also be like a very emotional release, so sometimes you might get a little like, emotional or kind of want to cry when you're in this posture, but it's not because it's so painful. It's just this very weird sensation. So staying on one side, and then again, when you're ready, we're gonna switch sides. So finding that low lunge first, hang out here, then drop the knee, untuck the toes, find the same depth that you found on the first side. So if we went all the way back, cactusing the arms, you'll want to do that here. Do, do, do. Breathe, relax stretch. Oh my goodness, you guys, it feels so good. And then when you're ready, push back, flex the toes, forehead to knee, stretching out through the back of this leg. 
and then you can come back to your lunge, lifting the hips, you can walk the foot out to the side, pop the knee out for more of that runner's lunge, or taking it to the half pigeon, walk the foot to the opposite side, drop everything down, square off the knee, the shin, lift the chest, find that depth first, and then exhale, come all the way down, just stretching out, and again, right in the outside of the hip, you're gonna feel it. it's tight. So breathe, breathe, and relax. Whew. There are certain days too, you're gonna be like, whoa, one hip is so much tighter than the other. Some days they both might be kind of loose or they both might be crazy tight. So just take time. This is one of my favorite, favorite stretches to do like every single day because my hips need it. So just breathe here a little bit longer. And when you're ready, come out of it by tucking those back toes, bring your feet together, and then we're gonna stretch the quads. So coming onto your back, grab the top of your right foot, bending the knee, and lean all the way back. Just stretching out here. Again, you can move around as you need to to get more of a stretch. And then switch it out. This can be done standing too by grabbing the top of the foot but I like doing it laying down because you just get more of a stretch. Slowly shake out those legs, and we're gonna move on to some back stretches. So to stretch out the back, we're also still gonna be getting some hips and other body parts as well. Uh, come all the way down, we're gonna find a little happy baby. So happy baby, feet come up the wall. You're gonna grab your big toes if you can, or wherever you can, and just bend those knees, and then eventually grab the toes or the top of the foot pushing your knees down toward the earth. You can also extend the legs out for a big straddle, but you're gonna keep feeling it in those legs. Just rock and roll here a little bit, massaging into the lower back. It feels really nice. Next, we're gonna take a supine twist, so draw those knees into the chest. You're gonna extend your left leg long, grab your right knee with your left hand, bring your right arm out to the side and let your gaze follow there, and then pull your knee across the body as you keep your right shoulder on the mat, just breathing and stretching, maybe finding a more of a twist, going a little bit deeper. You're gonna be ringing out through that entire back, giving it a nice, deep, deep stretch. It feels so good. And then as you're ready, bring both knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze. Right leg goes long to the floor. Draw your left knee in, left arm out to the side, and then slowly pull it across the body here. Hold as long as you need. Inhaling and exhaling. Gradually come back to center. Draw those knees into the chest. And rock and roll up. We have one more posture for that lower back. So scoot your hips forward. You're gonna rock and roll once again. Bring your legs up and all the way over. They may just come toward the sky, that's okay. Support your low back, shimmy your shoulder blades together. But if you can touch them behind you, then let them go. to come out of here, bend your knees, rock and roll, and come all the way up. Of course, there are a million different types of stretches you can do, but really, guys, the key is to listen to your body, to breathe into any areas of tension that you're feeling. If you're extra tight, take more time to stretch out that spot, and just do what feels good to you. These are my favorites, my go-tos I do every single day, so I know if you start with these, you will absolutely find a huge difference in your energy, your mobility, and your flexibility, so you can hit those workouts super hard the next time you do it. Also, when you get your Hot Body Sweat Guide, you'll have a full section on stretching with explanations and photos, and I wanna make sure you guys are doing at least five to 10 minutes every single day. For me, I know my hips are what are the most sore all the time, so I want you to comment below with the one body part that you feel like you just really need to stretch. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.